Welcome. Today we're going to talk about Internal Network Security 101, but this time we're going to look at the solution that will be a live demonstration of NetClarity's award-winning next generation network access control appliances, the NACWAL appliances for SMBs to medium-sized enterprises. So remember, it's all about managing internal risk, and to do so you must know the risk formula and use it. Risk equals threats times vulnerabilities times assets, or R equals T times V times A. Now the NACWAL appliances are designed to deliver internal risk management, managing the BYOD or bring your own device dilemma, as well as mobile devices, managing internal risk for intrusions and vulnerability defense, controlling network access while helping you comply with regulations, doing this in an easy, non-inline way without any client or agent software to install anywhere, all from a single appliance. So here's the architectural overview of the next generation NACWAL. There's a graphical user interface and a command center in the larger appliances to manage remote units. There's an alerting and reporting system, a blocking and quarantining engine, and around that risk formula, a threat detection engine, a vulnerability management engine, and an asset detection and fingerprinting engine with the ability to detect and block MAC address spoofers who might be trying to break into your wireless routers today. We also have daily updates with built-in features for detecting zero-day or new malware. That could be malware sitting on computers on your network even though you're running antivirus software. There's a built-in daily updated CVE auditing engine as well. That's the common vulnerability and exposure standard. And there's a fingerprinting engine that's frequently updated to ensure we know every kind of device that comes and goes on your network so that you can control internal threats, vulnerabilities, and assets. The larger appliances, the NACWAL Enterprise 10, 100, and 250, can easily manage Branch Pro and NACWAL Nano appliances in remote locations using SSL tunnels securely over the public internet. Plus, all the appliances come with daily updates to cover new threats, vulnerabilities, and asset signatures and tests. Now Gartner has talked about this BYOD dilemma and Gartner said in one of their reports when evaluating network access control solutions, look for vendors that understand the consumerization trend and support non-Microsoft endpoints such as Blackberries and Droids and iPhones and iTouches. NetClarity is the vendor that targets SMBs to significant medium-sized enterprises that can manage all of these endpoints. Gartner went on to say that NACWALs are deployed out of band, non inline, so they're easy to install, easy to deploy, and easy to manage. In fact, the NetClarity NACWAL has received awards from numerous organizations in the information security marketplace, from SC Magazine through their independent test lab, to Tolly, the Up to Spec Award, to InfoSec Product Guides, as well as CRN Test Center's Product of the Year Award. And quoting John Gallant, the president of Network World, NetClarity's NACWAL appliances pick up where firewalls, antivirus, intrusion detection systems, and intrusion prevention systems leave off. Some of the advantages of these NACWAL appliances are that they can instantly stop criminals and new malware attacks. This isn't a normal boxing match with a referee. This is a street fight against cyber criminals and cyber terrorists. They don't play by the rules. As a result, the NACWAL is designed to stop them by being non-inline, agentless, working with all operating systems, controlling all attached devices, and easily secure both your wired and your wireless network. These appliances fit within your closet, on your rack, and within your budget. Now let's take a look at a live demonstration of the award-winning NACWAL. So here we are logging in to a NetClarity Next Generation NACWAL Enterprise Appliance. We're going to fill out our company information, and here we are at BYOD Bank NA. Customize the reports for regulatory compliance with our bank logo. Put in notification information for our IT security team to receive emails and alerts from the appliance. Check off the GLBA because we have to comply with the Graham-Leach-Belaley Act and also check PCI standard 
because we operate as a merchant processor for small retailers in our region. We want to get other kinds of alerts, not just email or email to our cell phone. So we've set up a syslog server to receive alerts, and we could also enable SNMP traps. Now the appliance is set up. The next thing we're going to want to do under the risk formula is to discover all of our assets, and then we can deal with vulnerabilities and threats. So we're going to go do an asset discovery across all of our subnets or VLANs. Once we complete it, we'll see all the assets across the organization. I like to manage guests in their own VLAN, which goes out through the DMZ port of my firewall. If any of these guests attempt to gain access to a corporate or executive VLAN, we will block them and send out an alert, and they will turn red on the screen here. Notice for every device, we know the manufacturer, the MAC address, the operating system, their Active Directory login credentials, the name of the VLAN or subnet they're on, their host name, and their current IP address. Let's turn on the block technology, which is completely agentless, to keep bad guys off the network. Just click Detect alert and block save the settings making sure we get alerts twice a day and now the appliance is ready to protect our network from the inside out not only are we worried about malicious insiders maybe the cleaning company is coming into our BYOD bank in the off hours at night when none of the IT staff are here and they attempt to gain access by plugging in a rogue laptop or wireless device such as a wireless router into a hot ethernet port at our bank on our network we would immediately be able to detect them and block them with the net clarity appliance what if someone we trust brings in an infected system with zero day malware with malware that is not normally detected by your standard antivirus software we will untrust all assets that we used to trust when we detect that they're infected with zero day malware or an advanced persistent threat we might want to audit devices using the audit wizard such as critical servers for PCI compliance when an audit completes we will be able to see the difference between a prior audit and a current audit. This is called a differential audit for our bank. So in my last audit, I found lots of holes in our network. But in this audit, after I've fixed the holes, you can see in the report that they've been removed. So I've been agentlessly able to assess endpoints for their weaknesses, their vulnerabilities, and remediate or remove their known vulnerabilities, such as a reinstallation of the administrator and guest accounts with default passwords, such as a hole on the SMB protocol in Microsoft Windows, or even worse, Microsoft turning on the remote help desk protocol against my permission after the latest patch. So by finding and fixing these vulnerabilities, I've been able to harden my systems at my bank and protect and manage my assets. Let's see what happens when someone goes rogue. There's different kinds of rogue events. Maybe it's someone you trust who's become a malicious insider. Or again, at this bank, maybe it's the cleaning company attempting to gain access at off hours. Let's create a policy about acceptable use at our bank. And let's email out this policy to all of our staff. We don't want users to do illegal activities, browsing the wrong websites, hacking, using illegal software, etc. We email this policy out to our staff, and one of our devices on our network, as the security personnel, we notice the content proxy. Alarms go off saying one of our devices at dot seventeen is violating that policy, and we call this person Mr. Misbehavior. So here he is. Let's try to ping him now. So I'm going to run command, and I'm going to say ping minus t one ninety two one sixty eight two fifty four dot seventeen, and there he is, Mr. Misbehavior, responding to ping. I've been told by the HR department to get him and his device off the network and he will be reprimanded. So let's click on his asset, remove it from the trust list. Immediately a yellow alert goes out to the IT security team saying there's a rogue device on the corporate network. And there it is. Within 10 milliseconds, his device is immediately quarantined and blocked. Without any agents, without any new switch upgrades, working across hubs, switches, wired, wireless, VoIP phones, over any type of TCP IP network, as you can see, his device is now timing out. He's instantly blocked. The same thing would happen when the cleaning company comes in to our bank at 7 or 8 o'clock tonight and tries to plug in a rogue device. They would be on the network solely for our purpose of forensic analysis. They would have 10 milliseconds, only 10 milliseconds of network access. 
and this works across your entire organization with granularity down to the VLAN that you really want them on. Maybe this is a consultant who came in and should have been on the wireless VLAN or the sales VLAN and not the default VLAN. We can totally control assets, putting them in the right location on your network, putting them back on the trust list, and in a matter of three seconds, he'll be back online in the right location. Using the command center, we can manage appliances all around the globe. In our case, for our bank, we have West Coast offices and East Coast offices. It looks like someone's being blocked in the East Coast office, in the Florida branch and we can drill down and find out what's going on in that branch. Things are looking better on the East Coast with no block events. So without ever leaving our office, we can manage assets far away behind corporate firewalls by detecting, by alerting, and by blocking, all through the command center. The command center, using the risk formula, will tell you about new threats, new vulnerabilities, and new assets. It'll tell you who's being blocked, who's untrusted, who's rogue, who's vulnerable, all with simple red, yellow, green, and blue lights. Many, many other features are available in the appliance, including dozens of kinds of reports, executive trend analysis and management reports, daily updates for malware, vulnerability, and other signature tests, logging features for network and system logs, reporting in various formats from PDF to XML to CSV, a full-blown auditing engine for all your latest vulnerabilities to check all your endpoints. Many, many features are available. We'd be happy to give you a deeper dive and a live demonstration. Thank you for taking the time to learn about NetClarity's award-winning inside-out network security appliances. We appreciate your time to watch the live demonstration, and we hope you'll reach out to us by visiting our website at www.netclarity.net or sending us an email at marcom at netclarity.net. In the United States, call us toll-free 1-800-874-2133 and internationally 1-781-791-9497. Thank you again.